Hi, this is Kelly Brown, and today we're going to talk about the snipping tool. The snipping tool is a really great tool to use. It is available to every computer in Cobb County. It is an accessory tool, and it allows you to snip images from a screen that's on your computer. Okay, so I cannot demonstrate the actual live use of snipping tool because the snipping tool is located in an area that I can't capture on a video. So I have created a handout and I'm going to show you the steps via the handout. I've actually snipped these um, images using the snipping tool to use in this handout. Okay, so um, to get access the snipping tool, you will go to the start button in the bottom left corner of your computer, it's the little Windows flag blue colored symbol in the bottom left corner of your screen. You're going to click on that. When you click on that, a uh, window will appear right above it, and there's a search window where you're going to type in the word snipping. So you're doing a search for the snipping tool. You're typing in the word snipping in that search box right above the start button, and when you do that, up at the top there it's going to show you the snipping tool icon which is a little looks like a scissor with a red circle on the top near the blades so there's the tool and if you clicked on it there you would be able to access it but I'm going to recommend that you save it to your taskbar and I'm going to show you how to do that the reason for that is because so then you don't have to look for it every time and find it every time if you save it on your taskbar then it's available no matter what program you're in it's just always available on the very bottom of your screen in the taskbar so when you see snipping tool here you're going to place your mouse over it not click on it place your mouse over it and then right click okay when you right click this other um, window will appear to the right here was snipping tool we right clicked over it and then this appeared one of the choices that's available to here is pin to taskbar. You want to click on pin to taskbar and when you do then the snipping tool which is here the scissors with the circle on top will appear in your taskbar. This is the taskbar at the very bottom of your computer. So now no matter what option or, or program you're working on on your computer that snipping tool will be available. So now you have the snipping tool available to you so how do you use it? I'm going to demonstrate a snip. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to go to the page that I want to capture something from. So this is a Cobb County School District web page and they have this really nice Kid Talk um, icon or graphic and I want to capture that graphic and put it in a Word document. So I have to go to that page or website or image on my computer first that I want to snip from there, I'm going to go to my taskbar, which I know you cannot see, but I'm at the taskbar of my screen and going to click on Snipping Tool. When I click on Snipping Tool, I want to click New right now because this is capturing what I had already done. So I'm going to click on New. When I click on New, you're going to see that my screen kind of goes with a like a white or gray overlays over it. The Snipping Tool window appears and my cursor is now that plus symbol. If you can see, it's a plus symbol. So now I'm going to use that plus symbol to indicate what I want to capture on this screen. And I want to capture that Kid Talk. So I'm going to place my cursor up in the corner here, right above Kid Talk. I'm going to hold my left mouse button down and keep it held down. Then I'm going to drag to down and drag to the right in order to capture that Kid Talk. When I have it captured, and you can see that it is clear and everything else around it is that grayish color, I'm going to release my left mouse button. When I release my left mouse button, now in my Kid Talk window is the graphic that I wanted to capture. So it's captured for me. But now I want to, how do I want to use it? I can use it in a bunch of different ways. Um, number one, if I wanted to save it and give it a file name so that I could use it again later, I can click on that disk icon where it says Save Snip. I would click on it, give it a file name, um, save it in a certain folder, and then I could use it again and again. Another thing I could do is copy it. That would be for one-time use. If I copied it right now and put it in a Word document, I could use it that one time and that would be great. I'll demonstrate that right now. So I'm going to click on Copy. Then I'm going to open up a Word document. And then I'm going to click on Paste. And there is the graphic that I just captured 
in um, with my snipping tool. Very cool. Okay. I can still use the um, snipping the snip another way to the right. I, I did this with copy to the right of it. You see an email or I'm sorry, a mail uh, envelope that looks like email. I can now send this snip or this image via email to someone else. If I click to the, to the arrow to the right of the envelope, you'll see there's two choices. It says email recipient or email recipient as attachment. So one, if I clicked on email recipient, the first one, the image that I snip will appear in the body of the email. Okay. If I clicked email recipient as attachment, the image that I snipped will, will be an attached file in an Outlook email. I will demonstrate that here. If I click on the very first one and I click on email recipient without doing anything else, Outlook is going to automatically open. I didn't have to stop this and open Outlook. It just automatically opened and it opened here with the image that I snipped in the body of the email. The subject will say sent, sent from snipping tool and all I'd have to do is address it. And if I had to send some other text to it, go click send and I'd be done. So that would be a really quick and easy way to send something that I've snipped. I'm going to close this. I also want to show you if I clicked on, again, that mail symbol and clicked on the arrow to the right, and I clicked email recipient as attachment. If I clicked on that, again, without doing anything else, Outlook is automatically going to open up. Here it is. It's opened up for me. And instead of the image appearing in the body of the email, it appears as an attached file. It's just name is snip image. It says sent from snipping tool. The same would apply. I'd click to, I'd send a um, message out, click send, and it would be gone. And this time it would be an attached file. So that's very cool. And then another thing I can do with the snipped image, which I tend to do sometimes, is I'll send a screenshot of something that, um, something in the ribbon that maybe someone needs clarification on and what button to click on to do something. So if I wanted to highlight something that they wanted to click, over here is a pen symbol and over here is a highlighter. With the pen symbol to the right of it, again there's a drop down arrow. If I click on the drop down arrow I have different choices. I can make a red, black, blue, I could customize it, all these things. So I usually use the red and if it's something I'm trying to show someone specifically, I could just click and drag to draw something on the image. If I wanted to circle something, I could. If I wanted to write something, I could. So all these things I could do with the pen symbol. I can also use the highlighter. The highlighter only comes in yellow. And there's something specific I wanted to highlight on the image. I could use the highlighter there. So I can actually draw on the image that I just snipped. So now after I did this, I would say, okay, now I want to send this to someone so they can see exactly where I'm trying to show them something. So I can again go to the envelope, to the arrow to the right of the envelope, click on email recipient, because in this case I want it in the body of the email so they see it right away. I click on email recipient, Outlook automatically opens up, and they see the snipped image along with the pen and highlighter symbols I made to that image. Okay, so that's another great way to use snipping tool. I'm just going to close that again. And then while I was still in it, if there's something I wanted to erase, if I did make some markings to the image and I wanted to erase them, I can click on eraser and I, I've, I've erased the highlight. I can erase what the words I did. I could erase the circle and I'm back to my original image. So those are all the great ways you can use the snipping tool.